guys, welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen. I'm sure you've seen all over Facebook and YouTube and all the other social media networks a thing called the swine apple. Well, guess what? This is Crazy Dave here. So I'm going to do the swine apple, but I'm also going to do it Crazy Dave style. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do the swine apple, which is the regular one that you've all seen with, you know, the boneless ribs stuffed inside and wrapped with bacon. No big deal. I'm going to do another one called the chicka apple, which I'm going to stuff it with chicken. And then I'm going to do the other one called cow apple. And that is basically going to be stuffed with some carne asada, but still wrapped with bacon. Stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. So the first step we have to do is peel off the skin. So just lightly cut it off until it's all off of the pineapple. After we're done trying to remove most of the skin, now we're going to go ahead and core the actual pineapple out. So guys, I cored the first one and I kind of didn't like it. It kind of got real smushed. Well, this is crazy day. I've got a drill saw or hole saw. I'm going to try it my way. Now it's time to stuff the pineapples. And as you can see here, we have carne asada. There's some marinated chicken breast, and there is some marinated boneless pork rib. These are the three different ingredients that we're going to stuff inside these different versions of the pineapple. So remember, this one over here is the swine apple. This one is the chicka apple. And this one is the cow apple. Now that the pineapple has been cored and stuffed, we're getting ready to lay it down some bacon here. And now this is cold smoked four hour with apple wood bacon that we're gonna use. Amazing. Okay, so here is the apples or the pineapples all wrapped up. Over here, that's the swine one. This one here is the cow apple. And this one here is the chicken apple. Well, there you go. Well, how did I tell them apart? Well, I actually wrote them on here with a sharpie, what each one is. So when I come off the smoker tomorrow, then I know what is what. So now it's time for the swine apple, the chicken apple, and the cow apple to go into the Traeger at 250 degrees for about four hours. Now, over here, you'll see that this one on the left and this one on the right have the probes installed because I have it hooked up to the high grill too, which is also connected to my Apple Watch. Well, there you go. Now, we're gonna go ahead and smoke these babies for about two to three hours, checking the temperature periodically. Well guys, I wanted to show you what the swine apple looked like, but I guess this isn't the right way to show it. I set it on the counter real quick to cool down. I come downstairs because I didn't hear the dogs for a little bit, and needless to say, Andy and Liberty decided that they wanted to and have this dinner. Is what I find left of the swine apple. Apparently, it's really super good, isn't it, Indy? Is that swine apple really good? Well, so much for daddy taste testing it. I guess it's boxer approved. There's still two more pineapples in the grill. Okay, so I might be able to taste some. But in regards to the dogs, you know, they're like my kids. I have three daughters. I have one two-legged daughter, which you guys all know as a little coffee bean. And I've got the two other daughters, my four-legged one, Indy and Liberty. Well, Indy and Liberty, they had a magnificent dinner because there's no pineapple left, okay? Well, I did actually find it 
outside next to the tray grove of all places. And what I found was the actual stem left of the pineapple. So they did not eat that. So you guys don't have to worry about them eating something that might have hurt them. As far as the, the pork and the pineapple, man, they went to town on that thing. Well, at least I'm glad somebody liked it. Well, stay tuned and maybe I'll have a follow-up for the chicken apple and the cow apple. Unless they get a hold of that too. So guys, what do I got left? Well, I started with three pineapples and if we know the dogs got a hold of the swine apple, so apparently that was really good, but I'm guarding these two. On the left is the steak one, which is called the cow apple, and on the right is the chicken apple. Now that looks really, really, really good. Hey guys, guess what? These two pineapples survived the last night ordeal. The two boxers, Indy and Liberty, could not figure out, thankfully, how to get into the refrigerator. Well, these two are now cold because we really didn't want to eat them last night. So we're going to cut into them. So on the left, the one facing it towards us, that is the chicken pineapple. And the one on the right facing away is the carne asada or the cow apple. We're gonna cut into them and we're gonna see how well they came out. Stay tuned. As you can see, the security team and quality control is over here already snipping at the counters, thinking they're going to get these pineapples. Guess what? Not today. Well, here's the inside of the cow apple. This one here was stuffed with carne asada. And you can see, it looks amazing. So this is the chicken apple. Actually it looks really super good and really super moist. Well, there you go guys. Okay guys, so I got the family involved. I got my two two-legged girls, my wife and my daughter. And I've got the uh, two four-legged girls over here. And of course, Crazy Dave, we did a taste test. Now keep in mind, we really couldn't taste the swine apple or well, we were able to just a little bit. Um, I thought it was okay. Apparently, Indian Liberty thought it was okay. But now we're gonna move on to what we have was the steak pineapple. What's the vote on that? Now, Crazy Dave gave it two thumbs up. The wife said, or mommy said, two thumbs up. And a little coffee bean, wow, two thumbs down. Okay, so now we're gonna move off to what we call the chicken apple. Now, Crazy Dave says two thumbs down. It actually tastes like, eh. What does mommy say? Mommy says two thumbs down. And a little coffee bean said two thumbs down. Now, I'm not sure if we want to ask these two, because I think they're going to give it four two. paws up a piece. Four paws up, two tails down. Yeah. They don't four even paws have up, two tails down. Well, there you go, guys. I would honestly recommend that you do the carne asada swine apple. That one there, out of these three, came out the best. Well, thanks for watching. Enjoy.